Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The insertion of an implanon is the topic of our discussion today. And what is implanon? An implanon is a subdermal, long-acting, reversible hormonal contraceptive method containing etonorgestrel of about 68 mg. The initial release of progesterone from implant is 60 to 70 microgram per day and it falls gradually to 25 to 30 micrograms per day. The duration of implanon. Implanon provides contraception for about 3 years and the failure rate is 0.05%. What are the parts of implanon? The parts of implanon include specific implanon applicator along with applicator seal, the obturator with a groove tip, obturator support, cannula needle with implanon inside, needle sheet and the implanon of about 4 cm in size. What is the mechanism of action of an implanon? The implanon causes ovulation suppression. Secondly, it increases the viscosity of cervical mucus. Thirdly, it causes alteration in the endometrium. So, by these three methods, it provides contraception. What are the contraindications of implanon insertion? The contraindications include, first of all, pregnancy. Secondly, thromboembolic disorders. Third, the liver disease like tumor, active hepatitis, undiagnosed abnormal vaginal bleeding, carcinoma of breast, stroke, and ischemic heart diseases. Now, what are the advantages of an implanon? The advantages include, first of all, it is long-acting. Secondly, it is safe. There is no need of daily attention. It can be used by the breastfeeding mothers. It is cost-effective. It is an OPD procedure. It is immediately effective after its insertion and there is immediate resumption of fertility after its removal. It reduces the number of hospital visits and there are no systemic side effects associated with implanon. What are the disadvantages of implanon? The implanon causes irregular vaginal bleeding. It causes mood swing. It causes the breast tenderness. It can cause acne. It can cause weight gain, ectopic pregnancy, and it can be used by diabetic and overweight patients. They can't use this method. The complication of implanon include, first of all, pain, paresthesia, infection, bleeding or hematoma, scarring or bruising, and it requires the expertise for removal. What are the timings of insertion of an, an implanon? Those patients who are not using any hormonal contraception, they can use it in the day 1 to 5 of menstrual cycle. If the patients are using combined oral contraceptive pills, then the implanon can be inserted on the day after the last active tablet. And if the patient is using POP or progesterone only pill, then the implanon can be used on any day of the month when switching from POP. And if using injectable on the day next injection is due. If using IOCD where the previous IOCD is removed, then it can be inserted. In, and in case of after first trimester abortion, it can be used immediately after abortion up to 5 days. After second trimester abortion, 4 weeks after abortion or delivery. If breastfeeding, then use barrier method for 7 days after insertion or first rule out pregnancy. What is the method of insertion? First of all, we have to take care of aseptic condition. Insert implanon under aseptic condition in the non-dominating arm. The position of patient is very important. Ask woman to lie on her back on the table with her arm flexed at the elbow and externally rotated. Identify the insertion site which is at the inner side of non-dominant upper arm 8 to 10 cm above the medial apicondyle of the humerus. Now how to insert the implanon? I will apply the local anesthesia under 
skin, remove the sterile preloaded disposable implant applicator and keep its sheath on the needle and look for the implant rod. I will stretch the skin around the insertion side with the thumb and index finger and insert the needle in the skin at the angle of 20 degree and then left the skin with the tip of needle and straight it and insert it to its full length. So this is how I will do the insertion of an implant on. Then I will fix the obturator with one hand and fully retract cannula with the other hand and remove the needle and check for the absence of implanon. Then I will palpate the rod in the arm and do pressure dressing on the arm. So this is the whole procedure. Now what to do after implant on insertion? I will fill the patient's card, I will request the patient to palpate the implant on and I will give card to the patient and ask her to keep in her record. Let us explain the removal of an implant on when the patient wishes to remove it. In that case, first of all, I will consult the patient's card for the location of implant on and palpate to verify its presence and remove under aseptic condition. Mark the distal and close to the elbow. Apply local anesthetic at mark side. Then push the proximal end of the implant to stabilize it. A bulge may appear on the distal end. Give incision at the distal end and push implant towards the incision till the tip is visible. Grasp it with a forcep and remove it. If the tissue sheath is present, then they cut the sheath by incising it and remove implanon only by forceps. Then apply the pressure dressing at that side. Now I have come to the end of my presentation and before leaving, I would like to share these golden words. Blessed are the flexible, for they will not be bent out of shape. So learn flexibility and adaptability because if you can't be flexible, you will become irritable in life. So thank you so much. Wishing you the very best luck. Allah Hafiz.